From the station putting local first, this is KTSM 9 News at 10. Today, New Mexico Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham gets a first-hand look at the damage from the McBride fire that is still burning in Rio Doso. Grisham said that recovery will be a challenging process, but says the state will be an active partner with Rio Doso and Lincoln County. And that wildfire has now burned more than 6,000 acres, and it is still at 0% contained. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Natasia Paloma. And I'm Andy Morgan. Fire managers say firefighters are currently seeking out and mopping up hot spots to remove potential threats to homes. Officials also say the fire is heading toward burn scars from previous fires. So historically any other burn scars, depending on how old those burn scars are, could actually help aid our efforts. So as they move into some additional fires of, of the white fire and some of these fires that have previously happened in the Rio Doso area. Officials say the cause of the fire is still under investigation. This comes after reports that the State Department of Homeland Security said the fire was caused by a down power line. Now, the fire has already burned over 200 homes and is still threatening other structures. Yeah, that's right. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap has been in Rio Doso speaking with people who are picking up the pieces after losing their homes. Andy, Natasia, that homeowner that I spoke with tells me her home went up in flames on a Tuesday, the day that the McBride fire started here in Rio Doso. And as you can see, there are still law enforcement officers out here tonight blocking the roads as fire crews are still fighting this fire. Now that homeowner that I spoke with told me she was able to briefly go up and see the damage done to her house, describing to me what it was like driving down her street. Uh, we were driving and my son says, Mom, I don't think it got our house. And I looked at there, and you know, I drive that road so much, I can see my, it was a two story, the only two story in that area. And I says, no, Manuel, it's not there. It's not there, I says, I can't see it. And as we approached it, we looked and I got down and I was just devastated, you know, to see my house of 22 years there. Sharing this photo of Ember still burning on what was left of her home and smoke rising. You can see the family's cars burned in the driveway saying she only had left her house to pick up her grandchild when she saw the fire. Saw smoke. I didn't realize that the fire was right there. And as we approached closer, there was a big ball of fire. So we all turned around and went back. Saying she tried to go back and rescue her dogs, but it was too late. The road had been blocked off. Every house on Gavilan was burned. And from Warrior Drive to Hall Road. And uh, so... I mean, I'm sorry, I burst out in tears because I was wanted to save those dogs so bad. Mary starting completely over. As she said, she found out after her husband died that there was a problem with her home insurance and she hadn't resolved the issue before the fire. It's been six months that I haven't had insurance, but I never thought this would happen. We've had fires here before and it's always been out in the mountains, like Little Bear Fire, you know, and stuff like that. Never, never anything in town. Now, Mary Blackman, just one of the five people that I have now spoken with who have lost their home in this fire. And the fire is still burning here tonight. It's too dark and too many trees are blocking us right now, but we can still see flames coming down this hill. And at about 5 p.m. earlier today, a siren actually went off. We learned that it was a test evacuation siren. Reporting from Rio Doso, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News.